Hi, my name is Reiji. I'm an animator since 2010, and now you're anime compositing guru. If you don't know what compositing is, here's a quick example of what we're doing today. Basically, we're taking it from looking like this to this. Note, however, we are using third-party plugins today called OLM Smoother, and you can find that in the download section of my Discord server with links in the description below. Okay, so now the first thing we're gonna do is make a new composition. Just drag that window over here so you guys can see it. We're going by 1080p, 29 frames per second. Uh, nine seconds is all right. Composition name, we're just gonna name this uh, simple anime compositing. Enter. There's our preview window. And now we're just gonna drag all of the project files in here since we only have one background and one character animation. So pretty simple, as I said. And we're just gonna drag our Todoroki in here and the background. And as you see right now, uh, since my animation is always animated in 4K, the first thing what we're gonna do is hit Control alt f which fits the character into the screen into 1080p size. And the next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the lighting and make sure that the colors of the character animation fits into the background. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the character animation fit to the colors to the background and the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna use the tint effect here drag that onto the character animation on our Todoroki here and pick a color that is pretty much representative for the whole background so it's probably blue here now ah, that's a little bit dark uh, go over here and pick a lighter color there yeah maybe something brighter okay and then uh, I usually go back to 0% here and then turn it up just a little bit until I think that it fits into the background. Now that's a little bit too much. I'll actually go by 5% here. We're gonna change more later on, uh, but we're gonna leave it at that for now. Um, now if we zoom in, you see that we have these pixelated lines and we're gonna change those by using the plugin I mentioned earlier, OLM Smoother. Uh, you can just double click that to apply. And what I found that nine does perfectly what I want and you see that the pixelated lines are anti-LEIs now. So it doesn't look as jacked as before. And the next thing we're gonna do is add some lighting to it. And we're gonna do that by hitting Control D on our Todoroki here, and switch the blending mode. And in case you don't have this menu, uh, you gotta hit the toggle switches modes button here. So you get this menu that I that I have here as well. And then we're gonna blah, blah, we're gonna ch then we're gonna <laughs> then we're gonna change this to. Then we're gonna change this to Lighten and add another effect called Gaussian Blur, my best friend. And we're gonna crank this up a little bit. Uh, something... Something like this. And next thing we wanna do is hit on a duplicated Todoroki, hit T to bring up the opacity, and then usually I go by 30% which does a fairly good job, and you already see that it looks a lot like how anime compositing is done. And um, just so you can see it here, I'm gonna turn it off and on again, so you can see the difference. Let me just zoom in here a little bit. There, there's a, a massive difference in the actual look. It actually makes the character look like they're standing outside. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some light into the scene and then we're gonna do it very simple as well, pretty easy. And we're gonna just hit Control Y to bring up a new solid into the composition and make sure that the color we're gonna pick is this bright cyan here. Obviously, if you have a different scene, you can use any color you want. 
Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna stick with the same scene here. And now we have a whole new layer, a blank color. And we're gonna use the pen tool here to draw a little half circle. And just close it off here. You can see that by the circle uh, icon next to the pen. Just closing it off. And this is what we have right now. I'm just gonna zoom in like this. And when you press M, you're gonna bring out the mask menu. And I don't know why Adobe After Effects does this, but for some reason you have to close this tab here, open it up again, and then we're gonna have uh, a couple more options here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the feathering until we have a really nice looking gradient here. I like this one a lot. And we're gonna change the blending mode to screen. That is looking pretty good so far. We're gonna close this. And we're gonna hit T again to bring out the opacity. And change this to, eh, I would say something about 20%. And there we go. Let me just experiment a little bit here. Maybe just a little tad more. And now, it looks a hell of a lot like an actual anime scene. So, we're just gonna go to the end here. And press N to change our working space. And we'll go back to the beginning and press space for it to render. So now I rendered out the scene and we're gonna preview it right now. And we're done. It's as simple as it is. <laughs> That's our simple anime compositing tutorial. So I hope you like this little tutorial we made. Don't worry, we're raising the difficulty and specifics very soon. And if you'd like to support me, you can do that on Patreon. Otherwise, I'd be happy if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram for frequent updates. And I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye. You can find that in the download section of my Discord server and all the links you'll able blah, 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 in the description. Fuck. <laughs>